At least two tornadoes hit Suffolk when Isai is tore through the area. And take a look at this. Cherie on White Marsh Road said a twister moved her house five feet off its foundation. 13 News Now reporter Allison Basil is live in Suffolk with what's next for people cleaning up. Yes, Janet, the National Weather Service confirms that an EF1 tornado brought 100 miles per hour winds to the area and a family that lives just 15 minutes from downtown believes that's exactly what lifted their house from the ground. Stuck in a path of destruction. Aerial shots show the direction a tornado took before hitting several homes on White Marsh Road. It happened so fast, it was like a hit and run. Cherie Bloom and her family say the tornado pulled their house up with them inside it. The whole house was shaking, shaking, shaking. And then all of a sudden, you just felt the house lift up. Now the house sits five feet off of the foundation. All right here, that's originally how high the house was and originally where the house was. Before that, it hit more homes off of White Marsh Road. It tore off someone's wall, destroyed power lines, and demolished a vacant two-story house. If the tornado was as powerful out here as it was in there, uh, the house that had the foundation moved, it, it would be flattened for sure. Chris Howe is a business owner who shot drone footage of the destruction. I think the good Lord was looking after him for sure. The damage is extensive and the blooms say their insurance won't cover much. They're not going to cover the removal of my house or fixing pipes or anything. Still, they can't stop smiling, knowing their entire family, dogs, cats and chickens included, got away without a scratch. It was like spiritual warfare mm. took place right above our house mm. and God said you ain't taking them. And the city says they've assessed damage on 99 structures so far. Live in Suffolk, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. All right, Allison, thank you. Well, ECES did a lot of damage in Suffolk. Drone video shows us the mess in downtown. If you have debris you need to get rid of, put it out on the curb on your trash day between now and August 19th. Crews will pick it up and it won't count toward the 12 special collections residents are allotted each year.